Welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the helping verbs to do and to have. Let's get started. Remember that we use auxiliary verbs which are also known as helping verbs to form questions, negative sentences, compound tenses, the perfect tense or the continuous tense, and the passive voice. Also note that the basic auxiliary verbs are to be, to do, and to have. Now the verbs to do and to have can be used as auxiliary and main verbs. Let's have a look at the examples below. My sister does her own taxes. Now in this sentence, the verb does is used as the main verb. And in this sentence, do you believe in ghosts? The verb do is used as an auxiliary verb to form a question. And in this sentence, Anne has a well-paying job. The verb has is used as the main verb. Anne has got a well-paying job has got auxiliary verb. Remember that the verbs to do and to have are irregular. Have a look at the following table. The base form of the verb do is do, have, have. The present form do or does, have or has. Past form, did, had. Present participle or gerund, doing, having. Past participle, done, had. Note that we can use the auxiliary verbs to do and to have a when you don't want to repeat something. For example, Everyone likes going to the movies, but I don't. Meaning that I don't like going to the movies. B. To deny something or say that it's not true. For example, have you ever been abroad? No, I haven't. Meaning that I haven't been abroad. C. To show interest in what somebody has said or to show surprise. Have a look at the example below. They have been married for 50 years. Have they? That's unbelievable. Surprise. D. With so when you agree and neither or nor when you disagree. Now in this case, an auxiliary verb goes before the subject. Have a look at the following examples. She has helped me a lot. So have I. Meaning that I have helped you too. I don't want to go to work. Neither do I. Meaning I don't want to go to work either. Now let's review the helping verbs to do and to have and practice a bit. Remember that we use to do and to have as the auxiliary or main verbs of a sentence. Read the following sentences and decide whether the helping verb is the auxiliary or main verb of the sentence. Kim does her homework and night. Main verb. Do they know about this? Auxiliary verb. My grandma has a bad memory. Main verb. Lucy has forgotten to buy milk. Auxiliary verb. 
also know that we use the auxiliary verbs to do and to have when you don't want to repeat something. Read the following sentence and fill in the blanks using the appropriate form of the helping verbs. Kate called in sick and I she had called in sick two times already and I Kate called in sick and I didn't. She had called in sick two times already and I hadn't. Remember that we use the auxiliary verbs to do and to have to deny something or say that something is not true. Read the following sentences and fill in the blanks using the appropriate form of the helping verbs. Do you remember calling me? No, I. Do you remember calling me? No, I don't. Has he been playing tennis for 10 years? No, he, he has just started. Has he been playing tennis for 10 years? No, he hasn't. He has just started. Remember that we also use the auxiliary verbs to do and to have to show interest in what somebody has said or to show surprise. Read the following sentences and fill in the blanks using the appropriate form of the helping verbs. They don't know how to cook? How is it possible? They don't know how to cook? Do they? How is it possible? She had tried it many times before. I've never heard about it. Had she? I've never heard about it. Remember that we use the auxiliary verbs to do and to have with so, when you agree, and neither or nor when you disagree. Read the following sentences and provide a response using the appropriate form of the helping verbs. Emma wants to go out with Daniel. So does Ellen. I've never been to England. Neither have I. Here is a short story using the appropriate forms of the helping verbs to do and to have. Listen as I read so you can see how they are used in real life conversation. After I'm done, make sure you understand all the grammar and read aloud yourself so that you can work on your own fluency and pronunciation. Have you heard anything from Sam? No, I, I haven't. I've tried calling him, but he doesn't pick up the phone. So have I. Well, maybe he's busy with something right now. Actually, I think that Anna has told me something about Sam trying to find a new job, so he might be stressed out now. Does she even know him that well? Yes, she does. They met at my birthday party last year, and they have become friends at once. Have they? I've never seen them hanging out together. Anyway, I hope that he's doing all right. And now, time for you to practice on your own. Read the following sentences and decide whether the underlined verbs to do and to have are auxiliary or main verbs in the sentence. A. I've never been to Finland. B. She has a big collection of shoes. C. I can't believe they have forgotten about our birthday. D. Peter hasn't got 
any motivation lately. Now read the following sentences and give short answers using the auxiliary verbs to do and to have. A. I don't think they will win this game. B. My friend has never spent Christmas together with his family. C. Kate likes shopping at weekends. D. Have you heard the latest news? E. I've never seen anything like that. F. Do you believe in fate? Now let's check your answers. I've never been to Finland. Auxiliary verb. She has a big collection of shoes. Main verb. I can't believe they have forgotten about your birthday. Auxiliary verb. Peter hasn't got any motivation lately. Auxiliary verb. Sample answers. Neither do I. Nor do I. Has he? So do I. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Neither have I. Nor have I. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Thank you for watching this tutorial.